Zero. That's how many hires I got in my first recruitment campaign when I didn't understand how to use Facebook ads for recruiting. Now that I do, I've used Facebook ads to make thousands of hires for myself and for companies like McCarthy Construction, Mayo Clinic, and Domino's Pizza. These strategies have worked in a variety of roles. For example, we've used Facebook ads to hire superintendents, physicians and nurses, truckers to retail workers and managers. Here's a recruitment campaign where we got senior RNs for $2.67 per candidate, an electrician campaign where we spent 56 cents per candidate, and a super superintendent campaign where we spent $4.69 per candidate. If you've never run a recruitment campaign on Facebook or your current strategy isn't working, this video will help you go from setting up your initial ads on Facebook to managing your candidates all the way to the end hire. If you have any questions throughout the video, leave a question in the comments and I'll make sure to answer every single one. There's two main ways to launch a Facebook ads recruitment campaign. If you want the fastest way, all you have to do is get your job title and description and paste it into hireline.com, which will generate a fully optimized campaign that you can launch within three minutes. Full disclaimer, I am one of the creators of this tool. So yes, I am biased, but I made this tool with the intention of it being the fastest way to set up a fully optimized social media recruitment campaign without having to learn anything yourself. I also use this tool myself and it's what I use to get the results that I mentioned earlier in this video. Now, if you'd like to set everything up yourself on Facebook, you'll also need a Facebook page and a Facebook ads account. Once you've set up your accounts, go into your ad manager and create a campaign, leave buying type as is, make a leads campaign, use manual leads campaign. Then I'm gonna go into my cheat sheet. I'm gonna get the name. In this example, we're just gonna do a LPN and RNs rather than home care aids. And enable Advantage Plus campaign budget, put it at 30. And then very important, make sure to market as an employment campaign. If you don't do this, you could get banned off of the Facebook ads platform, which obviously you don't wanna do. Just click next. And then all the settings you want to adjust are here on the cheat sheet as well. So I'm gonna click next. So step two is to set up your ad set once you've completed your campaign. Uh, the ad set represents the targeting for a group of ads. So we're gonna set that up here. I'm gonna go into my cheat sheet, take the name, it here for conversion location, set instant forms. You can do Messenger. You'll actually get more candidates if you select Messenger, but it's more of a hassle to get the contact information from candidates and to qualify them. So I generally prefer instant forms. You can also use website if you want to direct the candidate to some kind of landing page. This takes a lot more effort if you set up a website and it's not significantly better, especially since Meta made some changes in 2025 that makes the quality of instant form candidates be a bit better than it used to be. So I like instant forms. Some people will recommend website. You can also go with Messenger, but 99% of you should probably be doing instant forms. For our Facebook page, just select your Facebook page maximize number of leads for the performance goal, leave dynamic creative off, and then your next setting should be in the audience section. Languages, you know, I'm gonna set it to English, and then location. So in this example, we're gonna be doing St. Louis, Missouri. You definitely want to set this correctly. You know, I'm gonna do that. And then you can leave Advantage Plus placements on. And that should be it for the lead ads. So we're gonna hit next. Yeah, so next we're gonna create the ad. Once again, I'm gonna go to my cheat sheet to name it. You can name it whatever you want. Facebook page is the one you selected earlier. Instagram page. If you don't have an Instagram account, there will be an option that will show up suggesting that you use the Facebook page as the Instagram account. But since I have one set up, that option isn't showing up. Disable multi-advertiser leads, leave this all the same. We'll set up the form in a second, but let's first set up the creative. I'm gonna use an image ad, and then I'm gonna copy and paste some of this stuff here. I'm gonna upload the ad. Make sure to select original for everything. And for the text, here's an example post that I would use. Uh, looks like the formatting didn't. Um, and then make this apply now. And then for enhancements, these aren't super important. Yeah, you can leave these four on. Your ad should be pretty much set up. Finally, you just have to create the form. So, um, make it higher intent, require leads to verify their phone number. This makes it so that you can text your candidates for sure. So I would leave this on. And then for questions, email, full name, phone number, definitely want these three. And then whatever additional questions you wanna ask. So I would put, this is my usual go-to questions. And then in the state of 
is three. Yes, no. And then turn on conditional logic. So, and then make it so that if it's no, you automatically close the form. And you're not gonna get the contact information for these people, but this is important because it trains Meta's AI so that Meta will no longer target people that are not authorized to work in the US. So then we go to the next question, close the form. And then for this one, for the last question, you want to uh, submit their information. For the last question, you want them to submit their information and end the form. And this will, once again, this will make it so that Meta's AI will be trained to only target candidates that will answer yes for this particular question. Then uh, for the description, based on the information you provide, privacy policy, I'm just gonna turn that off. Review screen, nothing. This is important because if they go to N2, it means they're not categorized a lead. You don't get their information, but Meta also is not trained to get more people like this, right? You only want Meta to look for people that are marked as qualified leads. And that's really important. I'm gonna just name this at a test real fast. But for these endings, you need to put a link to your website. I'm just gonna put Google, you know what, I'm gonna put Hireline. I'm gonna click create form and you're basically done. Now you can just hit publish. And then once you hit publish, it'll go through a review process with Meta and you can expect your ads to be live in 24 to 48 hours and you'll be spending whatever allocated budget you set. So you've successfully published your first campaign and ad set. Once candidates apply, there's a few ways that you can access the candidate. One is that when you go into the dashboard, you'll see a column for results. And then if you click download, that'll download a spreadsheet of the candidate information. You'll also receive an email from Meta itself whenever a candidate applies. If you prefer, you can also use a tool like Zapier or NAN or make.com to automatically send yourself a Slack notification or a text message every time that you receive a candidate. What we do ourselves in the hiringline.com software is that if you like a particular candidate and you want to continue with them, we'll send that candidate up to three text messages asking them to schedule an interview so that you can move forward with the next steps. So either do something like that or call them directly yourself. And that's pretty much it. Drop a like if you think the video is useful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure to get back to every single one.